if you're working here on campus, it's easy to uh, do work in Notepad++ or Crimson Editor or whatever editor you're using, and then save your work to the P drive. However, if you're using a laptop or if you're off campus, uh, you're not directly connected to the P drive. So what I'm going to show you here is how to use uh, a little feature of Notepad++ that will let you do those transfers uh, much more easily than doing the upload uh, from the web services system. I'm in Notepad++ and I'm going to go to Plugins and then to NPP FTP and I'm going to show the FTP window. Now file transfer protocol uh, is FTP. Uh, most programming editors like Eclipse or Crimson Editor or Emerald Editor uh, will do this. Uh, it also applies to uh, Macs and uh, Linux systems. Uh, the mechanics may be slightly different but the principles are still essentially the same and you're going to be using something called FTP. All right, now I have this new set of windows over here and the first time I do this I have to set up a profile for the system we're going to connect with and this is something you only have to do once and then it's done uh, forever on that machine unless you want to change it. I'm going to make a profile here called MWSU. You can do anything you want with that. If you want to give it a specific course name or something that's fine. The, the host name is web services dot Missouri Western dot edu. Same uh, location we use for uh, our web pages and so forth. Down here in the username I'm going to type my username and then I'm going to click this ask for password and this is important that you you do click this and then uh, I'm going to close that and that's a one-time thing if you did it properly you shouldn't have to do it again now I'm going to use this little blue thing that it kind of is I think supposed to be one cord plugged into another cord and here's this profile we just created ask me for the password and now I'm connected to the P drive. You should on your own system see the files that you have on your P drive here. Um, and I'm going to go to public HTML and in this case I'm going to go to ACT 102 and I'm just going to pick a file here um, and I'm drilling down on these just like I would in um, on campus if I was using the P drive. Things may be a little bit slower especially from off campus. I'm recording this on campus so I've got a really fast connection here and I don't have as many firewalls and things to go through. Working from home you may notice just a, a hair delay but anyway I can um, make a change to this file and then it's as easy as saving the file. So I've got the save icon here or I could go to file save or control S any of those. I'll just do the save file here and notice over here it says it's uploading and it's a hundred percent. If you're doing this from off campus it may take two, three, four seconds uh, for that to happen but it is important to watch that window and make sure that uh, it does upload properly. Uh, I'll make another change here just so we can watch it again. 
and this time I'm just going to do control S to save and again watch over here you see it changed to a hundred percent again it will take three or four seconds for that to work uh, from home but it's now done and it's on the P drive now there's a lot of variations I can make uh, on this uh, you notice there's an upload page here and a download uh, right now this says if you just want to upload the file that would be the same thing as saving it um, I could go to another file here and you see it gives me the option to download it but it's it's more or less like it's working on your local drive except you'll notice it is distinctly slower uh, than what you're used to uh, there's a lot of variations you can do with this uh, you can start with a blank file and then upload that blank file if you need to um, you can change the locations on the that you're uploading to to copy a file and so forth. Um, the trick is usually getting the file on the server to start with and I would suggest that if you're going to try FTP what you do first is while you're on campus go to one of the labs get the file in, in place before you start then you can go home and try downloading it and uploading it with FTP uh, and I think you'll have a good experience with that uh, the other things uh, transferring other files with FTP uh, starting with a blank file uploading it those are, are details I think you'll you'll figure out uh, as you go along and, and get familiar with the, the process